Well, hello everyone. So, we are here with a 1990, I think it's 1993 or 1994, actually I'm pretty bad with the years. But uh, it's a Honda Today Pochette. Uh, so that's a K car, 660 centimeter, centi uh, 660 centi. Hi, Konnichiwa! <laughs> Uh, 660cc engine and the old guy like coming by and <laughs> talking to us like yeah, there's nobody around here so we're the only gauge in the area and uh, yeah we're a bit popular uh, and uh, well it's a custom order for for a good friend of ours and it's going to be shipped to Baltimore so let's go over it so the main thing with this car is actually the mileage the mileage is stupid stupid low like really low like 60,000 km but like lots of Japanese cars, uh, 60,000 60, kilometers that have been driven like, you know, just around the city by an old guy uh, who was not exactly like super, at, didn't pay that much attention at uh, what he would scratch it onto. So the, it does have some scratches like pretty much everywhere and it will get a, a nice new buffing by the, by the new owner once it arrives. But uh, well, let's get a little bit in detail, in detail with the car itself. So as I said, like, up, and it's pretty much all over the car. Needs to be like it needs like a massive buff all over it. Like uh, same thing with the roof actually. Like you can see that the paint is not like exactly like in, in the best shape but uh, it's not uh, there's no dings or bangs which is actually pretty good because all people well they do hit stuff not so much the case with this one like uh, you can see that the bumper isn't super adjusted right there so it probably like touched like here and there in some places like it uh, could be readjusted there nice little scratch there well, it doesn't even go too deep like we'll just need like some paint adjustments here and there uh, you can see like another one you can see that it hit something there at some point just like pushing the whole thing and uh, it's not really probably like a one kilometer per hour like a little impact but uh, it does show so like the, the whole bumper will have to be like 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 sanded I would say and uh, and probably repainted would be the best uh, the best way to do it uh, but the car has absolutely no rust it's like in, in proper proper nice condition for when it comes to rust like you can see underneath there up oh, absolutely nothing it does show the, the actual like 60,000 kilometer uh, mileage on it which is like honestly fairly impressive uh, the Honda today is the wind the original like two-day uh, wind deflectors like it's not really wind deflector it's like a rain protector rain cover I guess uh, are still not broken which is also fairly rare actually and uh, yeah we need like the new some new sticker but uh, I know the, for a fact that the owner is already looking into into that up oh, because when he's gonna do buffing like the entire car it's gonna be needing like some new new stickers so we will get that uh, done and ready but uh, yeah no for the for the body condition of the car it's like there's not that much that can be gonna run i could go over like every single little scratch uh but i don't think it's necessary really uh, you can you can really see already how the car is it is among those cheap cheap k cars so it does come with can i open it i can show you the trunk Up. i can reach the there you go So to open it, it opens like the like the Nissan Pause, same way. Up, and you can you can probably sit in here. Well, I wouldn't push it too hard, but uh, yeah, you can sit uh, you can sit here if you really want to. Uh, the seat in the front will recline, so you can store some longer longer things in there. Uh, the car we will see just in a bit drives actually really well. So here also, of course, like I can check like it's dirty, but no rust. Up. Yeah, so for the outside, yeah, apart from the paint, the car is actually not bad at all. Uh, really, really not bad at all. The interior, though, is actually really nice, and the seats do show the low mileage of the car. Not uh, like the, the, the bolstering is nice. Everything feels pretty, really, really good in there. Hop, 
you can see original two-day carpet like not used much at all because of the well you know it goes with the mileage hope i can put that back in there but it stops going in my so i guess there was some maybe something in there but no, nothing here for now hope. Uh, yeah, so plastic, plastic, plastic. <laughs> it's very much the, the well, 90s in there, but it's really like a 80s style car, I guess. A little bit late when it comes to design. Hope the rear seats like probably not used much at all. Yeah, just actually pretty nice. The paperwork of the car here. Let me get in there. Hop. Here you have like some paperwork, some documents that fits in there. Uh, they've been like thrown in there, so it's not exactly like yeah, they're a bit, a bit bent. We do have the option sheet actually, which is still like in there. Hop. So SA5, 61,000 kilometer, and it is a five-speed. So it does show like all the dings and bangs, but it didn't really go over everything. There's like yeah, too many little scratches to really to really show it up. Put it back in there. Up. Radio works. Up. Can I? Only one sticker. Only one sticker. Only one speaker. The other side is blown, so you only get get sound out of one which adds to the, <laughs> the 90s experience you're dealing with here especially when you see like the, the background that we have right now very very Japan in there uh, yeah there's like really like the, the walk around is pretty quick the air conditioning for now does not work I haven't checked it yet so I'm gonna try to do it uh, very soon so this car is actually shipping out pretty quick uh, let's check. Ah, yeah. Also, one thing. So, I think that the, because of the the age of the car, I would really recommend doing the timing belt on it when it arrives. Uh, I can probably get the kit ready, but it's something that yeah, I would definitely recommend. Like, there's no timing belt history on it, so it's like yeah, it's a bit of a pain in the butt to do them, but uh, I think it's worth it's worth doing it. There's one bearing on the side, like a, a pulley, maybe like a tensioner that do sound old. Uh, let me just start the car right there. Hop. So yeah, there's one one bearing in there that is not in the best of shapes. So I'm pretty sure it has to do with the, with the timing belt. Uh, I haven't ordered it, I forgot I will get it done. It's leaking slightly some coolant out of the radiator cap, which is, uh, well, not abnormal. Like maybe you can hear a little bit the there's a pulley down there that's a bit noisy so yeah timing belt to do the timing belt and changing the, the tensioners and everything should solve that uh, that little noise but no i'm gonna turn off the car because it's a bit noisy Hop. other than that like uh, absolutely no rust no accident history original original panels everywhere and really not a single bit of rust absolutely no rust whatsoever all around the car so yeah i guess that's pretty much it for the for the walk around we're gonna go for a quick little test drive in the middle of nowhere suspension feels good actually we'll see that in the car usually that's the first thing that goes in those uh in those things uh, you know, like they, they, they are never changed, but these ones, if they've never been changed, well, they, they survived pretty well. So, so well, let's go with the with the walk with the walk with a quick test drive. All right, up. So we are in Tomba. So the location of red line, red line exports really really in the middle of nowhere <laughs> like really by the mountains and everything which is actually pretty cool to test cars because like we're right next to some cool roads for like sportier car I would say so the 
oil is like as fresh as it goes right now. I literally just changed it a few like a few minutes ago. And as you can see with also red line export is right there on the left. Up. Got like old people everywhere. <laughs> it's really pretty fun. I like this place. So yeah, little little visit of the area. Up. Massive body roll, but the suspension are pretty comfortable. It's just a stock, I guess a stock body roll that goes with the car. <laughs> and it moves! shifts really really well like that body roll is just pretty insane <laughs> the spacing can even like allow for for hill and toes uh, I'll go straight yeah, it drives it drives really well like everything is so smooth and I'm in fifth, doing 80 kilometers per hour. Probably close. Uh, okay, I was back in second there. I've never been actually right in this, in this area. <laughs> Where is the hell am I going? I don't know. Yeah, fairly different area. <laughs> where I'm living really great place for for off-roading let's get those like tiny little roads up in between the middle of the fields really <laughs> I really like this place yeah, I could jump if I wanted to. <laughs> That's really, really a cool place. But yeah, no, as you can see, like downshifts, like like those, those synchros are, are perfect. Like those, the gearbox feels great. Uh, clutch feels like nice and tight. No slipping whatsoever. It's not like the amount of power. The car, the car delivers would really be problematic. It does feel pretty nice. So as I said, like you can see probably the body roll in there, which is not great. But just, like so that, that road is not is a bit rough. You know, it's not like a, a super tight. Like really well here, it's actually pretty nice. But elsewhere, it's not exactly uh, a really smooth road, and it does it, yeah, it does really well. It does really really well on those roads. So I drove actually this car like close to well about 400 kilometers. Like actually like since my last fuel tank, I drove it like 388 kilometers because I resisted. Uh, so the full tank ended up costing me what uh, three like 2,800 yen and was like 22, 23 liters. Let's turn here. Ah oh, shit! Yeah, I'm driving left and drive cars these days. So yeah, I do mess up. So that's a single single wiper on those that that flush of that oil change actually made it make it feel even smoother than it was like the engine is really 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 
keeps boosting nice. Feels really good. And like oil for those is like really cheap also. It's like what? I think like 3,000 yen or something for four liters. And it only takes three anyway. Uh, with uh, when you change the oil and uh, and the, how it's called uh, the filter. Uh, so I can't really see. But local post office. It's better than uh, than the Megazaki to test to do the little test. I'm not stuck in traffic. Catching up with a little like Suzuki Alto, newer one. Much newer, it's like 2012, 2013, something like that. But yeah, no, it's a pretty good car. All those and the like, so the, the paint will be done. But like all those and that like pulley, little pulley noise. And really, when the engine warms up, you don't hear it nearly as much. Uh, it's yeah, it's, it's nice. Ah, we'll go back. Body roll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a good bike. And it will cruise, it will cruise easy at like 110, 120 kilometers per hour on the freeway. Like the 400 kilometers that I did were like pretty much like freeway only. And it likes it. It really likes it a lot. One ten, like that's like seventy miles per hour, four hundred and ten kilometers. That's a 75, 78 kilometers per hour. Top speed will be like one forty, and it is electronically emitted. I have tested it. So when you hit basically just one thirty five on the speedo, it blocks. Uh, it does a boom like fuel cut, uh, and and stops the car from going from going any faster. All right, I guess that's about it for that little test drive we are back at Redland Exports got my little Peugeot 106 that's about to leave to, to the Netherlands and uh, well yeah if you have any questions just hit me up I'll pack the car back in the garage <laughs> really tiny and easy to maneuver back all right till next one cheers guys bye bye